Hi, welcome to the calibration and association video for the 2 for 1 wireless gauge. To begin, you will need wireless utility open, your gauge, and your master block. Now, on the top of this gauge, you'll see a button here. Press and hold it for about 4 seconds, it'll beep at you and the light will start flashing green. Once that light's flashing green, it means the gauge is in setup mode. Now, with the gauge in setup mode and wireless utility open, press and release that button to send the information to wireless utility. You're going to get a message saying that the gauge is not associated. Click on OK. Then you can click on the green plus at the top of the screen. You get a progress bar and then another message will say your gauge is not associated. Again, click on OK. And then press and release the blue button again to populate your gauge inside of the grid. Now, with your gauge populated inside of the grid, double click on the number 1 to open up the calibration screen. Before we get there, notice that there is a 2 for 1 W instructions. This is how to associate, populate, and calibrate your gauge, all on a PDF format. Double click on the number 1. Screen will go blank, and it will open up your calibration screen. This is your calibration screen. Notice in here you'll have a Cal Low, Cal High, Cal Master Step, and a Zero Master. Again, we're going to start with Cal Low. Now, oh, calibration low, pull the gauge out of the master block and let it sit there with your arms completely extended without you putting any pressure on them. Click on Cal Low and then click on Sample. The gauge is going to beep both times and it'll move to Cal High. Now, for Cal High, pull back on the gap and compress the flush and then press Sample. If those two readings are accepted, it'll move on to Cal Master. For Cal Master, put it in your mastering block. Let it sit on a desk so you're not interfering with the gauge at all. Then click on sample again. Now, you'll see your live reading screen changed to zero and your gauge is mastered. Now, to skip this step and just simply zero your gauge, come in here and click on zero master and then click sample. This skips the high low steps and just simply zeros your gauge. Once you're done here, click on the X at the top of the screen and close the wireless utility calibration screen.